right guys, so I make a tofu vegetable soup all the time. I love it a lot. Um, basically, it's just a bone broth. I'm actually gonna combine maybe both of these. This one is a turmeric ginger, and this one's just a classic chicken. Um, I saute the garlic and jalapenos and a little butter, add just a tiny bit of the better than bouillon vegetable base, slice up whatever vegetables I wanna put in, dice up some tofu and throw it in there. So let's get started. So just a tiny bit of butter and I will saute the fresh garlic. Next thing I'm going to do is add just a little bit of the bouillon. This bouillon is truly the best. I mean, any of them. If you aren't vegetarian, you can definitely get the chicken or the beef. They're all really good. So we're going to add a little bit of that. Give that just another minute or so. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is flavor, but this is the kettle and fire bone broth. I absolutely love it. 11 grams of protein, um, less than one gram of carbs, and 490 milligrams of sodium. So I'm gonna pour this in here. Great, we're gonna turn it up so we can start to boil. And I felt like some leaks, so I'm gonna um, do some leaks in this one. And we'll let those cook in here once it comes to a boil. At the end, um, we will do some scallions. We'll drop in the tofu and some spinach at the end as well. Just the classic chicken kettle on fire. All right, we're gonna bring that to a boil, put that on high. It's super simple. This soup does not take very long. You really don't need to cook it down, you know, for hours. It's very tasty, very flavorful. Some tofu here. This is my favorite just because of how firm it is. This is the soya, the organic tofu, super firm. So I prefer that. I really don't drain my tofu because it doesn't really matter to me. Um, it's going into soup. But what I'm going to do is cut this up.
kind of like the same size you'd have in a miso soup. I mean, you can you can make this however you want. If you didn't want to make tofu, you could put chicken in here. Um, you know, you could put any kind of protein that you want, really. So, I'll drop that in. Just gonna stir that up, let that cook for a few minutes. And so before keto, um, I made the soup with could be, I mean you could still use it in here. It's kind of whatever vegetable I have on hand. So I've used broccoli in here. Um, roasting it first is really good, and then throwing it in versus cooking it in the actual soup. Um, that way they're still kind of like whole pieces and they don't just kind of crumble. And uh, diced roasted potatoes. I would roast the potatoes in the oven and get them nice and golden brown and throw those in here and it's delicious. So that's a really hearty soup as well um, if you're not too worried about the carbs. So use whatever vegetables you have on hand um, and customize it to whatever you want. But super simple. done cooking I am going to plate it up I'm ready for lunch so you're just gonna want to make sure you get to the bottom some of that really good tofu And then what I'm gonna do is chop some scallions. I love scallions, cut the ends off. Also, I ran out, but I do love adding sesame seeds to my soup, um, just for a little texture and crunch. So you can definitely do that. Add whatever you like. You like um, sour cream or something? You can use that. You can use Greek yogurt. But that's it, guys. So just a basic vegetable soup, but super flavorful. So I made the soup, and I plugged it all into my keto app um, so I could get somewhat of an accurate number for you guys, but just a serving of the soup, which, you know, with everything in it, probably about two cups. Um, and I probably made enough for three or four servings. So it came in at 2.2 grams of net carbs for a serving, about 127 calories. Um, I think it was 16 or 17 grams of protein and five grams of fat. So those macros I think are pretty good, um, especially for something super nutritious, um, not too heavy, um, but it's packed with a bunch of really good stuff. And like I said, you can kind of customize this to whatever you want, but this is something that I eat all the time. You know, I may change up some of the vegetables in there, but I eat this all the time and I absolutely love it. So. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of something that I eat. Um, most of the time I have this for lunch just because, you know, whatever I make for dinner, I'm usually having with, you know, my husband or my kids and they're not usually eating this, but I love it. So I'm going to enjoy my soup. It's spicy. It's really good. So try a soup, make it from scratch. The macros will be much better. It won't be packed full of sodium or it'll still have sodium, but not as much as, you know, 
a, a canned soup or something like that. So really good. And the tofu, I think, you know, tofu doesn't really have a flavor. It kind of takes on whatever flavor, but you know, you make with it. So it's a really good, um, just texture in the soup. And I think that that's what's important is finding like really good textures. So I love it. Every time I make these soups, I can literally eat them every day for a week straight. It's so good. So that's what I'm having for lunch. And I'll see you guys later. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to check in with you and give you the wonderful news. <laughs> At least for me, it is. Um, I'm finally seeing movement on the scale again. You know, it can be really frustrating when you hit a plateau and staying motivated and not questioning what you're doing um, is really important. So I have, I had really easy weight loss in the beginning when I first started keto. I lost 10 pounds in the first just under a month. And then I hung out at the 10 pound loss mark for at least a week or two, you know, just kind of like up and down, you know, depending on like if I had cheat meals and stuff on the weekend, I'd go up two pounds and then I'd come back down, but I could never really break through that 10 pound. Then after about a week and a half, two weeks, um, I lost again, but I lost three pounds and then it hung out again for like another week and a half, two weeks. So um, it was just kind of frustrating because I guess in my mind, I thought maybe, you know, the first plateau, I would have hung out for a while. My body's adjusting, you know, there's recomposition and, and then I'd get going and I'd do like another 10 pounds. Well, that didn't happen. And I just really tried to stay focused and I did switch up my diets here and there, which I guess some people will call maybe some sort of like cycling, um, where when I, I hit the plateau of 10 pounds, I started intermittent fasting, um, which it, it helped, like it would move a little bit, but not a great amount. Um, and then on certain days where I knew I was having a cheat meal or going to go crazy, you know, I would incorporate OMAD or on the days where I had little to no activity, I would do OMAD. So, um, doing that for like a week or two, um, may have helped the movement that I'm seeing now. I really am not sure. Um, but last weekend, I think it was Sunday, I started back to three keto meals a day. And this week I have done at, at minimum two keto meals a day. So I have not been intermittent fasting. And some could say there's been some intermittent fasting, but it hasn't been necessarily intentional. Um, you know, if I was running around doing stuff and I didn't get back home to have a lunch until like three or four o'clock. And then, you know, I just wasn't hungry for dinner. I wouldn't have dinner. So in that aspect, there was fasting going on, but it was just because I wasn't hungry. Um, so it wasn't planned that way. So I've gone back to having breakfast and a lunch at some point, usually between two and four o'clock. And then if I'm hungry, I have a dinner or maybe just like a little snack. Um, and I've been feeling really good. And sure enough, I woke up this morning and it was 154. I couldn't believe it. I was 157 yesterday. I don't know where it all went. It's probably water weight in some, you know, aspect. I'm not sure. But the point is, you know, just trust your body. Trust the diet that's, you know, working for you. If intermittent fasting doesn't work for you and you're not seeing any movement, you don't have to do it. If OMAD isn't working for you and you're not losing weight, you don't have to do it. Like, and same with keto, like just 
find things that work for you. And just because they worked for someone else, you know, just because whatever mess of a diet I am doing worked for me, doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone else. You need to listen to your body and just trust that what you're doing is going to work, you know, over time. You know, I, I pushed through that plateau, I stuck to it, I didn't give up, and sure enough, finally there was movement again. So yeah, I'm really excited because it was really slow going for a few weeks, but I hung in there and now the scale is showing me the results of my hard work. So I'm happy with that. Um, not much else to report. I'm sitting here with my coffee. Uh, since I'm not fasting, I have um, cashew milk. I use the unsweet, the silk unsweetened cashew milk. It's only 25 calories for an entire cup. And um, I think it's got less than one gram of net carbs. So I've always been a, a plant-based milk user. So this is, um, the last couple of weeks have been the first time I've used cashew milk. I'm normally almond milk. Um, I don't use oat milk. Um, I just don't particularly like it. And um, it's usually higher in calories or fat or carbs. So I don't know. I don't, I, I just remember that whatever I saw was a bit higher. So I'm using the cashew milk. I'm enjoying it waiting for my little one to get up, got my oldest off to school, and we're at it for another day. Today is Wednesday. Um, I have a lot going on today, so I am not going to go to Pilates. I went to Pilates Monday and Tuesday. Um, I'm feeling it a little bit, so I'm gonna give my body some rest and a down day. And nothing too exciting for meals today. Um, I've really been enjoying just, you know, an egg with um, the avocado mash on it and maybe like a little hot sauce. So I'm definitely going to have that this morning until, you know, I think I'm just going to like wear that out. I usually like get on a kick for food and I eat it every day. And then in two weeks, I'm like, I never want to see this food again. So <laughs> that's probably what I'm going to do because I really enjoy it for now. And I still have one more serving of soup left. And it's been so good. That soup is amazing. And the longer it sits, like every day, the spicier and like the more flavorful it gets. So um, I had some yesterday and it was really good. I do think I've, you know, been making that soup for a really long time. And I remember probably, I don't know, eight months ago, a year ago, I, I was making that and I was having it every day for lunch. And I wasn't dieting. I just you know, had it every day for lunch that replaced my lunch and it was so good. And I started losing weight. So I don't know, is it the fresh veggies? Is it the spicy? Is it get like my metabolism going? I don't know, but I'd like swear it's like my weight loss soup and it's so good and it's so hearty and it's so adaptable to like whatever ve veggies you want. And, you know, so you can be creative with it. And if you're not dieting, you can put all the tasty bad stuff in there. <laughs> um, but yeah. That's it, that's the uh, agenda for today. But I wanted to end this video on a high note and I'm so happy I was able to because I didn't think I would. Um, so whew, there was a final, finally movement on the scale. I am 154 and change. And um, yeah, so all I can say is stick with it, stay the course, don't, you know, um, get down about it if, if the scale is not moving as quickly as it maybe initially did or at all. Just let your body do what it's doing. Your body is adjusting to all of this um, and it's not a quick fix. So um, if you guys have hit a plateau, comment down below. Have you been able to push through? Uh, what worked for you? Did you have to change your diet from what you originally started? Like how are you dealing with plateaus? Comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.